Hey there, my name is Sandy, and I'll be guiding you through my implementation of WISE into this Unreal project I made. I won't be covering the sound design process as it's not the main goal of this video. So let's just take a look at the WISE project. The extra mixer contains a bunch of work units made for specific categories. Since the scope of this project was pretty small, I try to keep it organized but also easy to access. For the footsteps, we have a switch container within the player work unit. We have four materials and each one consists of a blend container with two random containers, one for the main footstep sound and another one to add more texture. Of course, each sound effects contains a pitch randomization and in the case of the texture, a brief delay. When the event is triggered, a poly layer is added to the overall sound. I also have RTPC space on the player speed. In this case, we don't have a specific samples for walking, so instead I've pitched down the samples and made them quieter. To determine which switch should be set, we have an animation notify event that first goes into a function that determines the surface material with the line trace. Then we set the switch, set the RTPC value for speed, and finally post event. So for the jumping and landing sounds, I have simply set an actor mixer with two random containers. But when it comes to the events, I've also added the footstep sound at a lower volume. To keep this prototype more interesting, I've added two main attacks. The melee attack consists of a simple random container with various whoosh samples. But I've also added an anim notifier that executes mid animation, and so if it detects a hit, it will trigger a stick hit sound and also stop the wish event. The magic attack is a 3 step system, cast, loop and throw. I figured that having the cast and loop inside a sequence container provided me the possibility to post the cast event and have the loop section loop indefinitely until we decide to let go of the right click, which would then trigger the throw event that also stops the cast with a smooth fade out. As for spatialization, I've checked 3D positioning on both the stick hit and the spell throw event. I've also tried to make a swim system that ended up in some glitchy animations. Anyway, the swim events are triggered with any notifies, and I've added a water splash event that has RTPC based on player velocity. That way, the splash sounds louder or quieter depending on the dive. You can notice that as I go underwater with the camera, a low pass filter is applied and an underwater sounding loop is triggered. This was achieved via states. When the camera begins overlapping with the lake volume, the underwater state is set, and when it ends, the outwater state is set. Both events trigger the player's swim samples, they give the feeling that you are actually submerging your head in the lake. For the environment, I've mostly created a bunch of AK ambient components that have looping events. There are two main categories in the environment, the outside and the inside. The lake sound is pretty straightforward. It's just a simple loop with custom attenuation settings so that as we get closer to the lake, it not only gets louder, but also the stereo spread is increased. The main goal was to achieve full stereo spread once we get close enough. In the case of a river, this should be achieved with the use of a spline, but in this case, as the lake is circle shaped, it was not necessary. Inside the village, we can hear a windmill. Some bugs coming out of the old well. And an invisible woodsmith, built from a bunch of different samples. Finally, we have a bonfire with custom filter attenuation settings. You might notice that as you get closer to the forest, the wind breeze gets louder. Well, I've implemented a spline system with specific RTPCs for the distance between the player and the spline. In the moment we enter the forest, the AK emitter detaches from the spline and follows us all the way throughout the forest. Inside the forest, we have the wind breeze, leaves shaking, birds bed, and some birds flapping sounds that I'll get into in a bit. For the ambient beds, we also have a custom volume RTPCs based on time. This helps the ambience evolve rather than being just a plain bed of sound. 
for the words flapping sounds, I've used the spatial automation feature within WISE. This way I've made custom paths that randomly trigger over time. The bird samples are spawning in randomly set intervals with randomized pitch modulation. Before following the path to the traditional ancient house, let's take a look at this little dude. So first of all, we can hit him. But as we interact, we'll get into a conversation. You'll notice the ambience and music are ducked, like the NPC is actually telling us. The VO here is generative, so each time we have a conversation, he'll trigger a different variation. This was made with a bunch of small sound recordings that are being randomly triggered with brief intervals of time and extensive pitch randomization. In Blueprints, to trigger the dialogue events, I've created a macro that is called in each message. The system evaluates which type of message state we are in, and if it is a goodbye message, then it posts the dialogue stop event. This stop event smoothly resets the ambience and music boss volume and calls the goodbye BO random container. Bye bye. When we get to the house, we can interact and open the door. This door not only triggers a slight sound effect, but also has spatial audio functionality. This is because the room was built using a spatial audio volume, which allows us to set a bunch of different spatial audio functionality, like reverbs and room tones. So, when we open or close the door, the occlusion and obstruction portal values are being updated. This was made exposing the AK portal component on the inspector and using a timeline to lure between the occlusion and obstruction values. This room not only has one portal, but two. So as we move the camera closer to the window, we can hear the outside environment sounds. Like mentioned earlier, the wind breeze has custom RTPC values that determine whether the sound is positioned or speaker panned. This way, when we get inside the house, we know the sound comes specifically from those two portals. The music implementation is pretty straightforward. It consists of an intro and a main loop. As we enter the village zone and overlap with a collider, the music starts playing. If we leave the village, the music fades away, and if we enter again, the music fades in. I've also added a timer so that if you stay out of the zone for more than one minute, the actor is stopped. Okay guys, so thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section.